Hey there, Lick and Riffers. Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which I would like to finally, once and for all, answer the one question that I get more than any other. Okay, my most frequent question, if you will. And that question goes like this. What is a lick? What is a riff? And what's the difference between the two? Now, I know that it sounds like three questions, but it's actually one question. And that question is, what does the name lick and riff mean? Okay, that's what people ask me more than anything else. So I would like to take this opportunity to show you the difference between licks and riffs. Now, licks and riffs are two completely different things. And I would like to demonstrate what they mean. So if you think about music as a language, because it is, then you have musical phrases. Let's take a simple musical phrase. Okay, a little solo. This is a musical phrase. So it's kind of like a sentence. It's a sentence. And just like sentences are comprised of words, okay, different words make up sentences, different licks make up phrases. Okay? Each of these building blocks are licks. Okay? This musical sentence, this musical phrase is made out of three licks and an extra note at the end. This is a lick, this is a lick, this is a lick, and this, you can call it a lick, but it's not really a lick, it's just a note. It connects into the sentence, but just by itself, it's meaningless. It's like a letter inside a word. It's just like one letter. So this is a lick, this is a lick, this is a lick, and you have an extra letter at the end. So this is the musical phrase, but it's actually three licks and an extra note there at the end, just uh, as, uh, you know, just the cherry on top. So licks are very short snippets of melody. If you play this, Okay, you can say that this is a lick, but it, you can actually say that it's two licks, okay? This is also a lick. And then you have the extra note, but just the slide by itself is also a lick. If you have, okay, you can say that this is a lick, but you can also say that this is two licks because this is a phrase. It's already a phrase. And this, okay, this is a lick. And the bend by itself is also a lick. So you can say that it's two licks. Okay, nothing is set in stone when you talk about music, but that's the general perception. So if you have, okay, this is a sentence, this is a phrase. Okay, so you have, this is a lick. This is a lick. Or you can just say, that this, is, this whole thing is one lick because it can fit as the ending of a phrase. Ah, missed it. You see? Um, so each of these lines was a different lick, but the whole thing became a sentence, it became a phrase. The same thing goes for licks in side chords. I play the chord and I added a lick inside. Okay. Okay. This was a lick. So that's that's what it means. Any little sequence you play, this is a lick. This is a lick. This is a lick. This is a phrase. This is a lick. This is a lick. This is a lick. Okay? And if you do... Okay, this is a phrase. But uh, each of them... 
this is a lick, this is a lick. Or you can say, this is a lick, and this is a harmony, okay? But it connects together. It all depends on how you look at it. But I think that you get the point of what a lick is, okay? If you play a solo, okay? Then this was a phrase, okay? This is a lick, this was a lick, this was a lick. This was the whole phrase. So, what's a riff? A riff is something that repeats itself. Okay? It's something that repeats itself. But it's a musical sentence. It's not just a chord. It's not just... Okay? This is not a riff. But if you take Take It Easy by the Eagles, for example, then you can say that the... This is a riff because it's a it's a specific chord progression with a very very specific melodic intent. Okay, it's a rhythmical melody, if you will. Okay, it's a very specific sound, and you recognize the song by playing this. So if you take okay, this is a riff. This is the riff for Smoke on the Water because it repeats. This is the whole riff. And it's made out of licks. Lick number one. Lick number two. Lick number three. Lick number four. Got the difference? And if you have a chord, let's say... If you have a really special chord, this is a G major 7 chord. So uh, if you have a special voicing okay, for the chord, uh, it's G major 7 uh, actually add 13. It's G major 7 add 13. Okay? So this is a really interesting sound. So if I were just playing it, then it's different licks. But if I repeat it, and I play it over and over again, and I make a song out of it, something that you can copy and recognize, something that has musical meaning by its very repetition, it becomes a riff. This is now a riff. But, if I were to do this... Then it's all different licks. Now, again, if this were recorded and it became a song and I could repeat this exactly as I just played it, then it would become a riff. But I didn't mean for it to be a riff when I played it. Did, did you get the difference? Okay. Mm -hmm. If it's exactly the same thing. Okay. And you can actually sing this, then it's a riff. Um, any other thing is just noodling around and variating. And uh, that's the difference, okay? Licks and riffs are two different things. Riffs are a musical basis for something, something that repeats and holds a song together. And licks are just words inside of a musical sentence. So there you have it. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.